Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to Winter Home on Afternoon Express, exclusively on SABC3. Now, as you know, Private Property has teamed up with Afternoon Express to provide you with advice on the different aspects of property on estates. Today, we have in the loft with us Carol Reynolds, North Durban Area Principal for Pam Golding Properties, who is going to chat to us about the property and estate market in our home province of KwaZulu-Natal. Welcome to the loft. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. So, Carol, how does one like you get involved in the sort of world of property? property. I was born into a property family. My father's a conveyancer. My mom's owned the Pam Golding franchise for 20 years in the Midlands. Sure. My sister co-owns it with her. My brother's in construction. My grandfather was a developer. And I did law and decided that I needed something a little bit more vibrant in my life. So and you tried to run away and then the cord <laughs> was too close and it kind of pulled you back and in. That's it. I thought I've either got to be an estate <laughs> agent or a lawyer. <laughs> so let me do property because I love sure. everything about property. I love renovating, decorating, investing in it. Stunning. It's my passion. Yeah. What's so cool about your family is that you're so diverse in the field of property. So yes. what exactly is going on in the markets <laughs> in Durban when it comes to property? You know, 2017 has been an interesting year for South Africa and there's been a lot of negative sentiment. But ironically, people tend to gravitate back towards a bricks and mortar, more solid investment mm. class. So actually, the residential property market, particularly in Natal, is, is being really resilient. It's showing extreme resilience. We've had growth of 9% year on year in Amschlange, which is 4% above the national average. My little Durban North Amschlange franchise has done better this year than last year. So I think sometimes you've got to remove yourself from the noise and the sentiment and actually yeah. focus on the stats. And you'll see that actually the residential property market's doing exceptionally well. And speaking of those stats, I mean, we've been mentioning over the last couple of weeks that estates are a growing trend when it comes to property. Everyone's looking to be part of an estate. So what are some of the hottest estates that are happening in, in KZN at the moment that are around? Well, just north of Belito in a little place called Tinley Manor's Palm Lakes, very popular with young families because you can get a three to four bedroom home there for three million rand. What? So it's really affordable and the lakes in the estate, lots of community centers, ideal for children. So that's a popular one. Then moving slightly further south into the heart of Belito is Zimbiti. Zimbiti's done very well over the years. Beautiful modern contemporary mm. architecture. It's got an 18 hole golf course and equestrian center. So also very popular with families. Sure. And then moving slightly further south to Zimbali, which is on the cusp of Belito, probably the most well-known security estate in KwaZulu-Natal. It's got Balinesian architecture, mm. very established. It's got a lot of coastal forest, yeah, which creates privacy. Weren't they also like named as like the second just below um, an estate in sort of Cape Town? Yes, it's like one of, yes. one of the key Voted estates. Voted number, number two in, in, the the whole, in the country. Wow. Yeah, Zimbali. Stunning. And prices there are higher. So your entry level is about 6 million up to over 20 million for a freestanding home. But beautiful and, and private and secure. And obviously you've got yeah. the golf course and the Fairmont Hotel. Awesome. So lots happening in that estate. Yeah. And then moving inland to the Hillcrest area is Cotswold Downs. It's more of a rural sort of country estate, also on an 18-hole golf course. Beautiful architecture. I'd describe it probably as contemporary farm style. You've got exposed trusses, mm. grey slate roofs. So it's quite classic and also more affordable. Entry level there is 4 million. You can buy a beautiful home for between 4 and 10 million. So also a lovely estate. Excuse my appropriation when it comes to these things, but Durbanites, you know, like quite chilled people, <laughs> and they, they've got lots of really cool, uh, you know, like activities to, to engage in just on the, yes. in their daily lifestyle. Yes, we do. So what exactly do Durbanites look for and the rest of the country look for when it comes to an estate? Because all of that's already at your fingertips, you know, beaches 100%. and lifestyle. I mean, we really are spoiled in Natal. We've got the best climate, the most user-friendly sea, a beautiful coastline. But first and foremost, people are seeking security. Mm. And then once you've got security, they look at the features and the benefits. They want their children to grow up in an environment where they can get their bicycles and go and visit their friends, go and play a little bit of golf on the driving ranges. Um, so I think it's just that peace of mind of being within a gated community and having that security, which is absolutely paramount at the moment in the market. And what's happened to KZN, it's become a hotspot for Johannesburg commuters. So there's a mass immigration of Joburg buyers coming down, wanting their families to grow up in these beautiful coastal estates, five minutes from the airport. The convenience and the lifestyle offering can't be beaten. There's a reason Durban has been voted best place to live in South Africa for the last three years. Has it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. The so Mercer Index is rated at the best mm. lifestyle city in the country. So ahead mm. of Cape Town, ahead of Joburg, 
You know, at the end of the day, you can't beat a beautiful climate. Yeah. Is that going to be expected to grow into the future? I mean, are you going to see these trends kind of moving forward? Is the property market going to continue to increase? Or is it starting to reach that cap where it's now, you know, too many people there, so it's going to start declining? No, not at all. The beauty of Natal is there's lots of sugarcane land, and it's slowly being developed. The Sabaya precinct, which is between Amshlanga and Amshloti, is incredibly popular at the moment. It's a talking point. It's literally three minutes away from the airport. So I predict that KwaZulu Natal is going to grow over the next 10 years. That's why I'm there. I think it's a place to be. Mm. It's as though it's finally been discovered. Um, Schlanger is attracting um, foreign investors for the first time in the, in, in the last two years. I'm suddenly seeing a lot of Dubai um, people investing in our property market. So it's very exciting times. It's a very buoyant market and we're very blessed. Sure because not a lot's buoyant at the moment. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, Carol, yeah. thank you so much. I don't want to carry on this conversation. I want to go and buy a property <laughs> yeah, in Durban absolutely, somewhere. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'll, I'll show you which one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. So listen, there you guys have it. The lowdown on what's happening in the property market in KZN. And if you have not done so already, be sure to enter the Winner Home Grand Prize Competition on private property to stand a chance to win a multi-million rand home on the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate. All you have to do is log on to privateproperty.co.za and answer a very easy question. It's literally as simple as that. Now, after the break on the show, the judges come feast their eyes on those kitchens.